You are going to love today's video. I want to show you how you can create mockups, which are images where you can add in your own image inside of that image inside Canva with your own images. I know that sounded like a bit of a mouthful, but trust me, you're going to love this. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who loves teaching online business owners how they can utilize Canva to grow their business. They can stop being overwhelmed. They can create really effective and performing graphics because that is the power of good design in a business. It can grow your business and I'm excited to help you do that with today's tutorial as well. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you firstly what used to exist and how you can create mock-up images really easily from Canva's library. But secondly, how you can insert any image that you already have into Canva to create a mock-up from that image. And I'm also gonna show you how to use AI and Canva's Dream Lab to create your very own image from scratch. Okay, so what you might have seen already is that Canva has long had a feature called mock-ups where you can insert an image into a mock-up, into a frame of something else. So say for example, I know that in the online business space, we use a lot of mock-ups of computers and phones. And so to do that, all you have to do is select an image. So I'm got, I've got just a screenshot of my phone Instagram here. And I'm gonna press edit on my top floating menu over here and go to the app section and click mock-ups. If you can't see that here, you can also exp you can also press see all and you'll see all the different options available. So if I click mock-ups here, you can see it down here, we've got a smartphone option. If I press, press see all here, there are a thousand different ways that I can put a smartphone here. So say, for example, if I wanted just a cool smartphone on an angle, I could insert this as a little mock-up and it will insert my image into this mock-up. It's all done really well in terms of it's got perspective. It looks really suave. It's it's like, it, it just looks really top notch. And you can do that whether it's for a floating kind of phone or even a phone in someone's hand doing all these cool things like so. But the feature that we now have available to us is that we can create our very own mock-up images. So say you don't you don't want a random man holding a phone, you might want a picture of you holding a phone. So as an example, I had a branding photo shoot done a little while ago and I got this great picture of me holding a phone. I can now use Canva to create this for me as a mock-up image where I can insert my own pictures in and out whenever I'd like to. So I'm gonna select my image, press edit, navigate to the mock-up section and click on this button up the top here underneath custom. It says create a mock-up template. Now Canva's gonna use AI to work out the parts of this image where a mock-up could be inserted into and give me four different options to see if one of those is suitable. Give this time to process, it might take you a minute or so. And you'll see once that comes up that it's trying to pick out where I want my mock-up to be. Because of the reflections on this phone, it's kind of getting a little bit confused, but you can see like, it's like, do you want me to, do you want to replace your whole top? That could be a cool option. If you were doing like a mock-up for a t-shirt, for example, you can do, you, you can use this kind of idea or if my pants, for example, or it's tried here to do the phone. So I'm going to click on this first option here and press confirm. Now that's now created for me my very own mock-up image. So now if I go back to my uploads folder and select that phone screenshot I showed earlier, I can now insert and drag this into my mock-up. All you have to do is drag and place it somewhere on top of the image and Canva will say, great, let's pop it into here. Now, if this isn't exactly what you'd like it to be, maybe it's cropped it weirdly, what you can actually do is click on the image and press edit. And you can see this little preview we've got here. I can choose where I want this image cropped. So say I only wanted a part of this, I could actually zoom in all the way and show it like so or I can press fit or fill or smart crop, or I could even flip it or align it in a different kind of way. Once you're happy with it, you can press apply changes and it will update the preview that you see in the phone there. I'm gonna do another quick example of this using a picture I have of myself on a laptop screen. Cause you can see some really great perspective here. This isn't just a plain rectangle. If I was to want to insert an image of a screen into this photo, like I've just taken a screenshot of my screen right now. And I tried to make this small enough to fit into this design. You can see that this doesn't quite work because this side of the computer is a little bit wider and smaller. So it just feels the perspective isn't quite there. So again, what I can do is click on this image, press edit, navigate to apps, mock-ups and create a spark mock-up. And again, Cam's gonna look at this new image and say, where are the parts of the screen she might want me to replace? I'm interested to see, I've also got an iPad and a phone down here. So I'm interested to see if it picks up those areas, all of them or just some of them. Wonderful, it's just picked up the laptop screen, which is all I really wanted. So I can click on this top one here and press confirm. Amazing, and now I can grab this screenshot of my screen that I wanted to add into the laptop screen, let go, and then Canva will then insert that into the screen, just like so. Beautiful. Now that was a little bit, it had a couple of little glitches here. I think it depends on your photo quality, the kind of screenshot you've got. But I think most of the time people won't even notice these small idiosyncrasies. The fact that that could insert that in so easily and quickly is a game changer. Now, if you don't have an image that you want to use, like I have these for my photo shoot, you can actually create some using AI as well. So I'm going to go to Canva's home and on the side panel here, you'll see Dream Lab. If you click on Dream Lab, it will take you to Canva's Dream Lab. This is where you can, this is where you can use AI to create any image that you'd like. Now, 
I'm going to be honest with you. I have not played with Dream Lab a huge amount. So these prompts are not top tier prompts. This is just a gal trying to work out how to use this stuff. But I think this will give you a really great springboard for the things that you might want to create yourself. Now, this, you can see at the top here, I've got a 498. This is the number of prompts and images that I can create using the Dream Lab. So just make sure you keep an eye on this number, whether you have Canva Free or Canva Pro to, to make sure you aren't running out of credits just using similar, silly images. Um, I also needed to mention too, that if you are doing this mock-up feature using Canva, this is a pro only feature. You would have to have Canva Pro, Canva Teams, Canva Enterprise, Canva for Education, something Canva Pro to be able to use this mock-ups mock-up feature. All right, so you can just simply add in a prompt in here. So say for example, I had looking over shoulder of don't know why you're looking over shoulder of a dog but maybe you have a dog brand and you're asking maybe you, you train dogs and you're looking for someone to and you're trying to advertise that you do social media for dogs you know <laughs> So you can see there's some great options for us here. Um, this one's probably the most reasonable. I'm going to do this one here. So I can actually just click on this. I can either download it or I can go in straight and edit this. So I'm going to press edit and it's going to just open up this image inside a new design for me. Just to note that you can change the ratios here of the kind of size photo that you want. And you can also change the style. So I gave the photo realistic prompt when I shared, when I shared it, but you could also give it some prompts in here of what kind of style of illustration or image you would like. So if I go to edit now and select that image and press mockups and create a mockup template and let Canva do its thing. I'm interested to see how it handles the, the water on the phone here. All right. So you can see here, this has done a pretty good job. I'm going to choose this one here, press confirm. Now I can drag and insert the image that I wanted to choose in here. It's kind of deleted a little bit of the phone, which is unfortunate, but I think overall it's looking pretty good. Okay, but you can see here, it did not work out the perspective at all. Like it's it's a little bit mismatched there. So you might have to play around with this a little bit and you might have to re-upload the photo sometimes and see if Canva does a better job. And before I show you one last way that you can use Dream Lab, I also wanted to note too, that you can use images from Canva's library as well to create some custom mock-ups. So say for example, you don't have your own, but you're happy just to use a generic picture. You could say lady on laptop, scroll to photos. And you can see if there's any photos here that will suit what you're looking for. You could even say looking over lady's shoulder if you needed some more specific uh, graphics here. But you can see this one here. What I'm going to show you is something that doesn't work. If I click on this image here, you can see I'm looking over this lady's shoulder. But if I click to use this and I press edit, mockups, create a mockup, you see this option here. It says Canva Teams images cannot be used to create mockups. Please try another photo. So if you have Canva Pro, it's really great because you usually have a lot of great images that you can use. However, if it's actually a Canva Pro image and not a Canva free image, we can't use it as a mockup, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to toggle this to just display free images for now. I'll use this photo here, press edit, mockups and create image and you'll see that it's actually working for this, but you can use a Canva free image. So you can see here that my mockups has now created this version here. So if I press confirm, I can then use this as an image to add in my mockups. Beautiful. And now if you go back to Dream Lab here and say you wanted to reference an image of yourself or something that you've already done. So say for example, I've got, you can see some examples down here. I want to show you how I created these. So if I go to add image, you can press a style reference. You can see there's some more options coming soon. If I press style reference, I can select an image from my uploads. You can see I've got a lot here of me in the ball pit. So I'm going to actually press this one of me on my computer in the ball pit and press next. I'm going to ask it to create something similar to this. So I'm not sure if this is going to work as a prompt, but we're going to give it a go. But you can see my, my credits are now going down. So just making sure you're using these um, wisely. These are working pretty good. So you can see it's tried to get a picture of me. They're kind of okay. I like this one here. So again, I'm going to press edit. Actually, I'm going to press download to show you something different. I'm going to press download. I'm going to go into my designs from earlier, open up a new page and add in this image of me on the computer. This isn't really me, obviously, but she looks pretty nice and she's in purple like I'm wearing and inside a ball pit. Um, and if I go to mockups, create a mockup, I'm just going to navigate over to my uploads so I can then insert a picture of um, a computer screen. And you can see it's given me some options for the computer. It's also given me an option to fill in my shirt. Um, this one's a little bit, they're a little bit um, all over the place, which is unfortunate that's going to be close enough for now. You can see that one didn't quite work exactly as we wanted it to, but it's really quite interesting how we can do this. Have a play with this feature. Maybe you wanted to use yeah, images of yourself, images of someone holding a phone, images of someone using a laptop, whatever it is. You might want to mock up a lead magnet that you're sharing. You might want to mock up your own Instagram grid, or you might use it to advertise a particular offer or 
poster or anything at all. So have a play with this feature. You might have to go back and forth and rework things a couple of times if you find it's glitching a tiny bit. But I think that's really exciting that we can now create our own mock-up images directly in Canva. And over time, this feature is only going to get more and more on point as the, as, as the AI kind of learns how these images are working. Now, if you are a business owner who is using Canva to grow your business, I want to give you three of my top forming templates to help your business grow to 100K. I've got a whole guide that gives you free templates to real covers, carousel templates, and a full lead magnet template. These are my top forming templates. I'm so excited that you get to steal them and use them for your own business. So I'll link that below, or you can catch the QR code on the screen. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope to see you for another tutorial very, very soon. Bye.